Hello fellow thinkers, I'm Becca and I'm currently walking through Rome. Oh, it's gorgeous here. I'm just walking to a bus station, um, but I wanted to do a quick hello because things are going to get crazy the next couple of days. Um, we're visiting a lot of churches today uh, and then tomorrow is Pentecost Sunday and we're going to the Pantheon and they do this thing where every Pantheon Sunday, or every yeah, Pantheon Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, they um, get firefighters to go to the top where the hole is and at the end of a Catholic Mass they uh, drop rose petals to represent the Holy Spirit descending and it's gonna be so magical. But we also just found out that it's like a 10.30 Mass and someone told us that if we wanted to get seats we had to get there at like 6.45 a.m. So, I don't know how that's gonna go. It'll be interesting. <laughs> After um, Pentecost Sunday, we leave Monday morning, I think, yeah, for, um, where are we going? We're going to Siena on Monday morning, and then spending the night in Siena, and then Tuesday, we are going to Assisi, and then back to Rome, and spending the night Tuesday night in Rome, and then Wednesday we fly back to the United States, and we stay with my aunt and uncle in Chicago another night, and then Thursday I think we go back to Michigan. So yeah, it's going to be a crazy couple of days, but it's going to be awesome. The past few days have been insane. I'm gonna try and cross without getting hit by a bus because they try to be assertive. There we go. I successfully did not die. <laughs> um, yeah. The past few days, we um, yesterday was crazy, crazy. I'll probably make a whole video about. Well, maybe I don't know. We we saw. Um, oh, what was the first place that we went to? Oh, we went to the stairs. Um, I totally forget. They, they took stairs from Jerusalem. Is this the bus stop in Swiss Via? One sec. I think it is. Yeah. Um, they took stairs from Jerusalem that Jesus had to walk up, I think, to see. I don't even remember. It was something very important, and I'm totally blinking on it. Um, but the the point of the like having the steps available is that usually um, they have steps that like they're wooden steps that you have to like crawl up like in um, on your knees like kneel on each one and then go up on the next one on your knees and it's supposed to be a very prayerful process and um, you're supposed to focus on like the passion of Christ and the suffering that he went through and we got there and there was a sign that was like the stairs are being restored because they have they have stairs for everyone to kneel on and then they have like small patches of the actual stairs so that you can touch like rosaries and other holy things to it um, and so that they don't get worn down by people going up them but the other stairs that people actually have been going up are in very bad shape so they're redoing them so they had these like they just have these marble stairs that you usually walk up and down, but they had one staircase like reserved for going up on your knees, and it was, yeah, yeah. So they, it wasn't the actual stairs, but they had like a, just like, just a substitute, temporary substitute for them. And it was still a very powerful experience. Like I was crying and it was very interesting. Um, so that was emotional. That was like the first thing that we did. And then, um, what did we do after that? We went to a couple churches, and then we went to a church um, that has relics of, they have relics of the True Cross. I don't know if you can actually hear me. 
relics of the true cross, um, one of the nails that nailed Jesus to the cross. Um, they had relics from the cave that Jesus was buried in. They had, what else? Oh, they had two of the thorns from the um, crown of thorns. And we found out, because we, we went to Sakhar Kaur and thought that we like saw the actual crown of thorns, but it was like, there was something covering it so you could like see the shadow of it, but the signs said that it was, like it was in a different language, so we were like, I think that's the crown of thorns. But when we went to the, I think it's the Basilica of the Holy Cross, um, and we read that the actual crown of thorns was at Sacre Coeur, but that each of the thorns were broken off and spread out through different churches. So that was interesting. So we saw two of the uh, thorns and they were like really long. It was crazy. And then <laughs> I really started crying when we saw, um, I forget what the actual name for it is, but it's the, um, they had a replica. They didn't have the actual thing. They had a replica of the, um, the sheet the, that covered Jesus. And um, it had like blood stains on it and I don't even know. It was just, it was crazy because you could like, it, there was like an outline of his body because he had so much blood that it stained in like the shape of his face and in the shape of his arms and everything. So you could look and see like a shadow of his face, which was very powerful. And then you could also see all of the um, whip marks like all over his body. And you could make out his arms and his ribs and like, it was just, it was crazy. I was crying. I was very... and I was very emotional and yeah um, I think I have to go in a sec but I'm glad I could check in real quick um, again let me know if you guys have any prayer intentions please keep praying for me I keep getting spiritually attacked the more things that like that that happen like it, it's wonderful and it like moves my heart and then a couple hours later or the next day or something something else is just like uh, like I don't know it, it's been difficult so thank you for watching um, I love you guys and I hope to see you soon ciao